Hi, I'm Jim Gray with Agent Advice, and today is video two of our five video series, Five Things to Know When Choosing a Lead Source. Um, we're going to be talking today about identifying funnel position. I get this question a lot. Are the leads qualified? I want you to swap that question out when you're thinking about leads to purchase. And I want you to ask this question, where in the funnel are these leads? As agents, we are super focused on closings, right? It's the way we get paid, but you know that not many people that you talk to today are ready to take action today. They usually fall into different, what I call funnel positions. There is short term, medium term, long term, and then something that I call a fishing pond. These are people you have no idea, you know, whether or not they'll ever take action. Usually when an agent is talking to me about quality leads, they're talking about, I need people to take action in the short term. If that's the case for you, then there are some obvious places to go. You can you can call expireds and FISBOs. These are people who have, have homes up for sale right now or have recently had a home for sale. And in both cases, most of those people wanna get those homes sold still. So that's short-term business. Open houses, if you're in a house that is for sale right now and there are people in that house walking around, those are people that are likely to be taking action in the short term. Estate sales, SOI, past customers, these are all lead sources where the people that are in these lead sources are more likely to take action in the short term. Then there's medium term. This is gonna be sort of your inbound pay-per-click leads. Uh, people go online and they search for terms, you know, homes for sale, Kansas City, under $500,000. This is somebody who has opted in, given their information on the internet, right? Um, using search terms. So we say the search intent is high and it's likely they're going to be taking action more in the medium term. Longer term, these are people that are, you know, maybe not even thinking about selling, but may in the future. That's going to be your farming, your demographic, or your geo farming, your demographic farming, your circle, your circle prospecting. Facebook pay-per-click falls into that category. I like Facebook leads. I just know that they are going to be further up the funnel, right? And take longer for them to become a closing. Your job as the real estate agent is to sort them and to keep these folks moving down the funnel. So my encouragement to you is don't focus on quality so much as focus on funnel position. I'll see you in the next video.